Tonight, the migrant crisis is playing out on the streets of New York City as dozens of asylum seekers protest being moved to another shelter. Many of them are spending tonight outside the Watson Hotel in Hell's Kitchen. It houses mostly single men, but the city plans to convert it into a family shelter and the men must move out. For the last 36 hours, the city's been trying to take them to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. But tonight, there are growing concerns about conditions inside the terminal, with people complaining about a lack of heat and beds. Some city council members say their tour of the facility was abruptly canceled today. News Words' Gabby Acevedo starts us off with the concerns about the move. Tense moments today in Hell's Kitchen. The city telling a group of migrants who slept inside tents on the sidewalk it was time to move to a relief center at the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. Some of the asylum seekers told me they were moved to the emergency shelter in Red Hook, but came back to the Watson Hotel unsatisfied with the housing at the cruise terminal. It's inhumane. It's inhumane what these people are, are living through. It's Edward arrived in New York City about a month ago from the Texas-Mexico border. He says there are not enough bathrooms at the cruise terminal and they have to walk outside of the relief center to find them. There's only four restrooms available for them, four individual restrooms, and there's no running hot water. This is video shot inside the relief center. Another asylum seeker telling me the sleeping cots are set up too close to each other and that it's too cold out there and we have nowhere to safely put our stuff. And decided to camp, camp out instead of returning to Red Hook because it reminds them of a Yelera, which is an ICE detention center. But others like Alvaro Perea decided to board the MTA bus and transferred to the marine terminal, saying he has no other choice. Council member Shahana Hanif, who is the chair for the immigration committee, told us via statement, I have consistently opposed the outdoor refugee camp model for emergency shelter, which the city previously tried to operationalize at Orchard Beach and Randall's Island. We know that the needs of asylum seekers cannot be met in this setting. But Mayor Eric Adams believes the facilities at the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal will provide the same services as every other humanitarian relief center in the city. City council members told News 4 that a planned tour of the site today at the terminal's temporary 12-week shelter was canceled by the mayor's office. Now the question remains, will Mayor Adams address the complaints from migrants or will the initial plan to relocate them to Red Hook continue? Reporting from Hell's Kitchen, Gabby Acevedo, News 4, New York.